So my name is Aliyah Farusi. I am a graduate of the BioPharm program in 2004. Um, right now I'm getting my PhD in health research methodology. I picked BioPharm for a few reasons. One was interest in pharmacology and there were no pharmacology course offerings outside of the program. Uh, secondly, um, I was a bit dissatisfied with the large lecture format of most of the biology or science undergrad program. Um, and I was really, I went to a biofarm information session one night and the problem-based learning format really appealed to me. I'd have to say that I enjoyed the PBL format probably the most and the way that the instructors or the tutors usually allowed us in each tutorial to run the tutorial as best fit for our group and to get what we needed out of the unit. Um, so I enjoyed the flexibility and the hands-on approach for me personally because when I'm more of an active participant in the learning, um, I tend to learn better. Uh, the other thing was the co-op was extremely valuable to me. Um, if it weren't for the co-op placements, I wouldn't have been able to find a job out of undergrad. I know a lot of others who were not in co-op that struggled. And I was actually able to test out a totally different field um, that led me to where I am now. The PBL encourages independent learning. Um, and that really did prepare me for my first few co-ops where when I was given a project um, and given some idea of the methods, but if I ever encountered a problem, then I had the skill set that I needed to begin to tackle that problem and also to read about and apply new methods. Um, because we were working in groups and we depended on each other, in the group to both be an active participant but to sit back and listen to and learn from your peers. That certainly helped me in the workplace uh, in terms of interactions with my coworkers and working as a part of a team. My first co-op placement was with uh, Pierre-Yves Van Der Weed at the University of Calgary and I was uh, running experiments studying um, lymphatic vessels of the guinea pig. Those were electrophysiology experiments. In that first co-op placement, I picked up um, the electrophysiology techniques within the first week and had a very productive summer and actually um, had a first author paper out of that co-op. So it was very rewarding. It gave me a lot of confidence and I, I kind of hadn't expected that from my first placement. My second placement I took with a biotech company that's in Toronto. So that was my second co-op placement and my thesis there. And um, I got a little bit more control over the experiments there, although um, I, I absolutely had a supervisor at the, um, at the company. And I actually found that experience very rewarding because I could get a little bit more creative with the design element of the experiments, uh, testing my own hypotheses. So um, that got, I, I gained more confidence in the lab there, but my third co-op placement was in pharma at um, Hoffman La Roche in health outcomes. And I was working there, I was actually hired by a previous graduate of the BioPharm program, who was the director. And with them, I worked on a number of items related to reimbursement of drug products and I actually participated, well I drafted a submission for pricing, a pricing submission for a new drug or a new formulation of a drug and it was, it was that experience, that pricing submission and the interaction that I had with the, uh, a consultancy while at the program that led me to my job after graduation in pricing consulting. When I graduated from BioPharm, I moved to Ottawa and I worked for a small consulting agency that is probably Canada's leader in pharmaceutical pricing consulting and I worked as a pricing associate uh, with directly with the principal consultants to uh, prepare and advise pharmaceutical companies, our clients, on how to price new drug products or new formulations. 
with respect to the Canadian federal guidelines on drug pricing. I left um, pharmaceutical consulting and came back to school to do my master's in health economics because I had wanted to uh, make the move over to economic analysis of newer existing therapies. And from that time, I transferred into the PhD here at McMaster. So I'm in the Health Research Methodology Program um, specializing in health technology assessment. And I've moved, I've transferred into the PhD program. And uh, I should be defending this year. So my career as of uh, after this could be any number of things. Take advantage of your co-op placements, and if you're curious about something, um, and it doesn't even it doesn't necessarily seem to be the mainstream for a biofarm student, that I I think you should absolutely go for it and seek that out actively, um, because as I said, uh, I, actually after my my first two co-op placements, I thought that I was probably going to work in the lab, but I always had this curiosity about health economics and health outcomes and it was through my last placement that I discovered that I actually uh, really enjoyed it. I got to try it out. So I would say make great use of your your uh, your co-op placements and through your co-op placements work hard to establish connections in the in, in the industry or in academics wherever you go. Keep in touch with those people. Establish a good relationship. Drop them a line every now and then because those relationships have really benefited me through the years.